Good morning and welcome to St. John's Liturgy Online. These are our morning prayers for Easter Thursday, April the 16th. We begin on page 6 in the Book of Common Prayer. Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm 147. O oh, praise the Lord, for it is a good thing to sing praises unto our God. Yea, a joyful and pleasant thing it is to be thankful. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem, and gather together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth those that are broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars, and calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and great is his power. Yea, and his wisdom is infinite. The Lord setteth up the meek, and bringeth the ungodly down to the ground. O sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praises upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, and prepareth rain for the earth, and maketh grass to grow upon the mountains, and herb for the use of humankind, who giveth fodder unto the cattle, and feedeth the young ravens that call upon him. He hath no pleasure in the strength of an horse, neither delighteth he in any man's strength. But the Lord's delight is in them that fear him and put their trust in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath made fast the bars of thy gates and hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth and his word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool, and scattereth the hoarfrost like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels, who is able to abide his frost. He sendeth out his word, and melteth them. He bloweth with his wind, and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and ordinances unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, neither have they knowledge of his laws. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, beginning at verse 50. What I am saying is this, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishability, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? 
Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the resurrection from the dead of thy only Son, Jesus Christ, grant that we who celebrate this Paschal feast may die daily unto sin and live with him evermore in the glory of his endless life, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We uphold in our prayers today all on our minds and hearts, those who love us and care for us, and those particularly who are in any kind of anxiety or distress. Almighty God, who art afflicted in the afflictions of thy people, regard with thy tender compassion all those in anxiety and distress bear their sorrows and their cares, supply all their manifold needs, and help both them and us to put our whole trust and confidence in Thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, Continue, we beseech thee, this is gracious work among us. Cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick. Grant to the physicians, surgeons, nurses, therapists, and all essential care providers, wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. And send down thy blessing upon all who labor to prevent suffering and to forward thy purposes of love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.